I am here to show you an unboxing of this uh, new acoustic pedal called the T-Rex Soulmate Acoustic Pedal, which has just arrived by uh, FedEx today, um, purchased here in this country, uh, USA, um, and I ordered it from Sweetwater from my awesome sales rep. So. I'm just going to do an unboxing today of the T-Rex. We're going to get pretty in-depth. I'm going to show you the, all of the panels. and We're not going to plug it in or anything. I'm just going to show you what is, um, how it comes in the box. And uh, the first thing I noticed is this awesome little hand-built in Denmark there. Very cool. Um, when I see that, I, I already uh, know that it's going to be a higher quality pedal than something that's been machined, you know, at a manufacturing plant in Asia or something. You know what I mean? So, uh, now to open the box. All right, I'm going to adjust the camera a little bit so you're going to see the product a little better. Now, opening the box, the first thing that I notice is that it has a little quick guide here which is super convenient for anything you want to do right out of the box, any buttons, gives an explanation right here of what they all are. Very helpful T-Rex guys, thank you very much, awesome. All right, so, I am now going to box the power supply. which comes from, of course, uh, every country. Uh, you can, the adapters for uh, Europe, um, uh, Canada, you know, USA, and anywhere else that you might need to plug it in in the world. Very, very progressive company. I know I'm getting a good product when they include all the extra parts, even if I don't need them. So, what I'm going to first do here is I'm going to connect the correct adapter for my country, uh, USA. And I'm going to just snap that into place, and there we go. We have a working adapter. So, now I'm going to take it out of the plastic. <clears throat> Oh, that's very heavy. It's got some nice weight to it. That also is a great sign. Uh, and here is the manual, the user guide, which can also be found online at T-Rex.com. Okay. Uh, and now, what we're going to do is we're going to take an in-depth look at the back panel and the front panel and the top panel. Anything that has anything working on it. All right, so, sorry about the glare there. So here we are, here's the front panel. We've got your tuner, reverb, sorry, tuner, reverb, looper controls, boost, tap, tempo, your delay, channel, uh, mod channel, which includes uh, delay and reverb. Um, the compressor, which is a FET style compressor, which generally has very fast attack, which is nice for guitar. Um, now on the back here, looks like we have input, guitar input. Um, impedance selector, or, or as they call that, uh, high or low Z. Z is um, code for <laughs> impedance or ohms. Uh, I'm not sure why. 
phase switch, uh, in case you're having some feedback problems with the monitoring, you can enable that or disable it. Uh, gain control, general. Uh, oh, I like this switch. So once it's in, it doesn't turn, it locks. So wherever, it, but you have to lock it, to, you have to turn it. And then once it's pushed it in, you can lock it at that gain stage. Beautiful. Power adapter. Uh, tuner pitch goes, uh, um, does like from 435 to 442 or something. It does a little bit more than just uh, A440. So if you tune up or down uh, or equal temperament, you can get a lot uh, more use out of this pedal. Again, these are the same style. This is very cool. You see, you, 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 in, you cannot turn it, but as you push it out, you can turn it, and then you lock it in by pushing it back in. Genius, T-Rex. Love it. Uh, <clears throat> as again, engineered in Denmark. Uh, great place. I did visit there. Uh, people were wonderful. I had a great time. Uh, lots of herring. Love herring. My favorite fish in the world. Lots of herring. Um, so also, we've got here... Um, so now here's your control, right? So you've got two expression inputs here for expression pedals. Uh, you can control the main input volume um, regardless of the loops that are playing. And then you can control the, um, the shimmer effect with the reverb, which gives it sort of an upper octave, uh, upper fundamental octave, um, almost harmonic sound uh, when you're using the reverb. Um, it's not super useful when you're playing a regular song, but during like a solo section or an intro or an outro, it can be uh, a lot of fun to have that shimmer there. Um, and now your output section. Now I love that it has XLR outputs and quarter inch outputs. I love that. Um, there's a possibility, but do not quote me on this. I do not know if these are balanced or not, but obviously these are balanced, so, you know, it doesn't matter. Um, and again, your ground left right here, if you're having any uh, 60, K, uh, 60 hertz uh, buzzing or anything like that, or anything coming from the, uh, the line, you can uh, see if that helps. Um, so on the front again, we did miss a couple things. Feedback killer switch. I'm um, told you have to uh, make it feedback pretty intensely before you can use the feedback killer. You've got to feed it feedback. <laughs> feed it feedback and then you can use this um, right here. All right, again, slowly the compressor section, level, compressor, the mod section, the delay and reverb section, the three band EQ section, which is awesome, high, low, and mid. Oh, and it even spells out exactly uh, what the frequencies are on the pedal. That's awesome. See, that's helpful information. If you know you're buzzing, uh, your, your guitar sounds muddy at uh, 220 or 440, you know, you can kind of, you know, remove that out. I believe the top and bottom are band um, or shelving. Um, their shelving EQs, which means that from wherever you set it to zero um, or 20 on the high end, 20K, means it will take that and uh, make a straight line to uh, 20 kilohertz on the high and make a straight line to zero um, or 20 hertz on the bottom. Um, if you have any questions about anything I said, anything at all, Feel free to email me. Uh, again, I'm really excited about this product. Uh, it looks great. And um, again, uh, if you have any questions or anything like that, uh, feel free to send me a, you know, an email or whatever. Uh, if you like this video and you would like to subscribe to my page, please, please hit subscribe and click the bell, uh, the bell icon in the bottom of the page. That way you'll get notified when I put new videos out. Um, thanks for watching this video. And again, if you have any questions or any comments, please leave them right in the comments and questions section of my YouTube page. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. Happy music playing. All right, bye-bye.